No puns or anything, just some announcements for what's coming up for me in 2021. Hello Shapeshifter and Double Gingers alike, I'm MightyG Cosplay and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about things that you will see and things that you will not see in 2021 on my social medias. Basically I wanted to make a quick video explaining what's coming up and in which direction I will take uh, my social medias, the kind of subject that I will post on them. Uh, during the next year. So before we jump into the subject, just some quick reminder, you can give a like and subscribe to the channel for more cosplay SFX makeup tips and tricks and cosplay SFX makeup tutorials. You can also follow me on Instagram to see pictures of my makeups and maybe more, and you can find the link in the description. So I know that probably if you're listening to this video, you already know about my other social media, but I just wanted to make a quick reminder. So now that being said, let's jump into it. So the first point is something that I thought I would talk about more on my social medias and that now I think I will just put aside up to a point that I'm it's kind of throwing me up into an existential crisis. I mean, my name is Mighty J Cosplay, but I actually never talk about cosplay, or at least I don't anymore. Uh, yeah, I decided to put cosplay aside in the sense of making costumes. Obviously, you I mean, it's debatable uh, if I do cosplay, but I do cosplay SFX makeup, I turn myself into different characters using uh, beauty products and body paint. But in terms of making costume to fit with that, it's something that I've decided to put aside. Uh, there's two main reasons why I decided to do so in 2020 and I will keep it that way in 2021. The first one is kind of the most obvious, is just that all convention got cancelled. So one of the big part of cosplay or the fun part of doing cosplay is going to convention and showing your costume. But right now, because of lockdown, all convention have been cancelled. At least in my area. We generally have two convention per year. We have one in early April and we have one in mid-October. So um, I still have a costume that I never wore to any convention and I was supposed to wear it uh, in uh, the convention in April 2020. So yes, they both got cancelled. I do think that the convention in April 2021 will probably cancel as well. And maybe if we're lucky we'll have a convention in uh, October 2021 and then I will be able to wear that costume which was my Mikayo's The Unallowed costume. I never took any picture of me in my full costume with the makeup, but at least I posted some pictures and a video of my makeup try. The first time I tried to do the makeup for that cosplay, uh, I posted that on Instagram and YouTube. So you can look it up if you want to have an idea of what the costume looked like. Uh, but yeah, that is the first main reason. And since I already have a costume that I've not been able to wear, I'm not really that enticed to work on another one. Uh, the second reason, and that's the main reason why I decided to put cosplay um, on the side or to do it differently, is that it's very time consuming. Um, the thing is... I'm trying to do a new costume for each of those conventions, but six months to do a costume is really not that much. Uh, and it's just that cosplay for me, it's not a job or something that I want to do full time. For me, it's really more like a hobby. And a hobby should stay pleasant and not become something stressful. Uh, and yeah, the last... The, the last costume that I made, which was my Mikayo's The Unallowed, the one that I haven't worn yet, uh, the two last month I made a lot of sacrifices in order to complete it on time. I stopped going to the gym, I stopped playing Magic the Gathering, which I normally do every week. And I was like, oh yeah, but you know, it's not that... Uh, it doesn't matter that much, I'll just do more of that after the convention in April, uh, but yeah, it never happened because everything got closed because of lockdown. So obviously I have some regret on that, but it's just that, yeah, my last costume took me way too much time and I had to cut uh, 
other aspects of my life in order to complete it on time. It also had a negative impact on my makeups because if you look at the makeup I did in February 2020 and early March, you may have noticed that my makeup were not that great or the design were uh, really more simple. And it's because I had to do simpler design because I didn't have the time to do a very complex makeup. So it's just that also right now I feel that my main focus, uh, which right now is really about my cosplay effects makeup, but when I started my social medias, especially my Instagram, uh, it was also a lot about just uh, cosplay and making costume and stuff. I was sharing a little bit more of that. I was also doing a little more uh, traditional special effects makeup, like with latex and prosthetics. I kind of stopped that as well. But yeah, these are the two main reasons why I decided to put cosplay and costume making at least aside. Uh, the thing is, it's, I'm not saying that I will never do it again, but I think first of all, a lot of these costumes cost me a lot of money as well, so I would like to just wear them more than once. Uh, so maybe re-wearing re some costume for some convention is an option that I'm looking at, but I think the main difference is I, I will not try to do a new costume for every convention. I think six months is really too short, and now my mentality is more I will work on a costume and present it when it will be ready when it will be completed. It may take one year, it may take two years, I don't know, I don't care. I want to do uh, many different things and I really want to make costume really for fun and take the time to do so so that I did not get stressful and have others impact on my life and on what I post on social media. So now that being said, there's one thing that I decided to put aside but there's also something new that you will see on my social media. So, on the other hand, there's something new that I will post and share more on my social medias. Uh, it's not related to cosplay, it's not directly related to makeup, but at the same time it's kind of close. Uh, it's just that I went back into drawing. Uh, as you can see, uh, at the back, I have a lot of drawings on my wall. They are all drawings that I did when I was a teenager. But, I mean, they are still old, but I'm still proud of them, so drawing is not something completely new for me. But at the time I was really drawing with just like regular lead pencil or colored pencil. But right now I decided to go back. It all started with my Venom makeup that I did this year, because I was really unsure on how to do Venom. And I decided, well, I'll just sketch it out on a piece of, pa on a piece of paper to look if I can do it. I mean, if I'm able to draw it, then I will probably be able to uh, turn it into a makeup. So, uh, in November and December, around that time, I decided to test a little more of my makeups that way. And I can tell you, there's some makeup that I try, some characters that I tried to do a drawing of them and it failed horribly. So I was like, nope, I will not do a makeup of that character. But at least with Venom, it turned out great and I kind of just enjoyed drawing again. The funny thing is it's that it have been years since the last time I drew, but because I've been doing makeup, it also improved my drawing skill as a side effect in a certain way. So uh, yeah, I started to do some drawing. As I said, those drawings were made were made only with a lead pencil on a regular sheet of paper. I did. If you followed me on Instagram and look at my Instagram stories, I showed like that piece of paper with six uh, mini portrait on them, and telling you, well, one of the makeup that I did di that I did this week is one of those character. Can you guess which one? So uh, yeah, I already shared a little bit of that. But wait, there's more. I also discover a new type of drawing. Uh, on Black Friday, one of my kind of Christmas gift from me to me was I purchased these bad boy over here. These are Copic markers. So uh, for those who don't know, they are markers used uh, to draw, normally to draw cartoon, mangas, they are more professional markers and I started to draw in color as well. So right now I don't have that much thing to share, 
but I just started with a box of 24 and then I just purchased way more. So now I'm well equipped with co uh, Copic markers and I will share a little bit of that on my social media. I don't think I will do like uh, speed drawings on my YouTube channel because uh, I take a lot of time to do my drawings actually. But it's just that I will share it, uh, I will share a lot of them on the Reddit and on my Instagram, probably my Instagram stories. I wanted to have also another medium beside face painting because, I mean, drawing and painting things on your face is nice, but you have some limitation and sometimes I want to do more, like maybe I want to draw characters in full body and... Also, the main, one of the main reasons why I decided to do that is I want to do more original creations and I will pro try to make them to make drawings of original creation and then later trying to turn them into makeup. So that was also another reason why I wanted to uh, try drawing. Right now with the Copic markers, I have to say I do really enjoy it. I do enjoy it way more than I originally thought. And I'm actually also way better than I would have thought. I mean, I'm not good, but at least I don't suck. I don't suck. So, I mean, that's already something and that really encouraged me to continue that way. So that is something that you will see a little more of that on my social media. Also, I just wanted to make a quick rundown on some things that you may see or not see on my social medias in 2021, but that are not as big announcements as the two previous points. So the first thing is regarding skincare, I mean I do skincare, I love to know more about it, I take that seriously, but I don't think I will do any more skincare reviews. Maybe I will talk about some products that I use, but I'll, uh, like I did an Olin Rickson product review and I mean I'm not a skincare expert, I mean yes I can give my opinion as a customer, but I think it's I'm just not good at this and it was not something that I enjoyed so I really want to leave that for the professionals or people that have a bigger expertise in that I don't have any expertise in skincare so I will probably not talk about it that much maybe just sharing the products that I use but not reviewing products uh, another thing is regarding beauty makeup reviews um, I'm not saying that I will not do it anymore, uh, but the thing is, I planned a lot of beauty makeup reviews, uh, beauty makeup product reviews in 2020, but in fact I almost never published them. Uh, the thing is, I feel with beauty makeup products, you need to put the reviews when the product is released. But like, nobody is really searching for a review of a product that was released like six months ago. I had a review of the Natasha Denino Glam Palette, I filmed the video, I don't know if I will publish it, but it's just that now it's way too late, she released a new palette and now nobody's talking about the Glam Palette again, so yeah, I mean, I think I will stick more to like what are my favorite products, like my favorite eyeshadows, my favorite highlighters, my favorite brushes, things like that, more than doing reviews of product, especially product that have just been released. Um, now things that I want to do a little more, uh, I would like to do more original creation for 2021, as I said, that's one of my big motivation to start drawing again, so I want to do a little more of that. One of the reasons is because, let's be honest, I've been doing one and some in a certain era, even two makeups per week, so I've done around 125 or 150 uh, characters. So right now, most of the character that I wanted to do when I started, I already did them. But now it's getting harder to find character that I haven't done yet. So doing original creation is also one way to just keep going on. Um, I'm also exploring new franchises. Uh, I mean, I did a lot of characters from video games that I play, but I'm also trying to learn more about video games that I haven't played yet. And I mean, uh, in some cases it was really prolific. I mean, that's exactly what happened with Doom Eternal. I made a lot of 
uh, makeups of demons from the game and then finally I purchased the game and I do really, really enjoy it. But I mean, I, there's other franchises that I want to explore. Maybe I want to explore a little more about mangas as well. I did some characters from Attack on Titan and from uh, My Hero Academia, but uh, yeah, maybe going just discovering new franchises. Another thing is I want to redo some of the older makeup that I did. I mean, there's some makeup that I did like a year ago or two years ago, and obviously I have also improved since that time. So there's some characters and makeup that I want to do again and see how much I've improved. Some that are on my list, I would like to try again doing Kate 6, uh, doing Master Chief, which is the, literally the first makeup transformation video that I've put on my YouTube channel two years ago. I want to try again um, Corvo's mask and probably Octomus. I mean, I did it early on and I think I can do it way creepier and more realistic. So yeah, maybe redoing some of the older makeup is something that I will want to try. I already did it a couple of times. I did uh, Soldier uh, 76 uh, at least two times. Maybe I will do it a third time and use it like a barometer or like a measuring tool to see how I improved. So yeah, there were quickly some other things that you will see and not see in 2021. And now I'm back with makeup on. So I did a cosplay SFX makeup of a Kako demon from the video game Doom Eternal. So yeah, it was a very short video, but I just wanted to make some announcements for what's coming up for me on my social medias in 2021. So I hope you really enjoyed the video, if so please feel free to give a like and subscribe to the channel to see cosplay SFX makeup tips and tricks and cosplay SFX makeup tutorials. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye!